M0 FXB Hamtech. Let's take a look at FL rig control with the Yaesu FT991. I'll put a link in for you to download this program. The link does include several other downloads. So, you know, take a look and um, it's these links have been made by Dave W1HKJ. So thank you very much. And lots of different programs that you could try out here. But at the moment, we're trying out the one that's called FL rig. On the back of the 991, there's a printer port type connector. So plug that in and plug the other end into your USB on your computer. And it's definitely recommended that you use a ferrite ring because you will get some RF interference on that cable. So you want one with good screening as well. So, okay, next thing you do is you won't have this window on the left initially, so we'll just close that down. Now, I haven't changed any settings on mine at all, okay? I've literally just turned it on, but I know that the board rate is set at 38400. So if we just go to the, the small window that opens up when you first turn on FL rig, you do get some configuration gray windows, but I skipped past them and went straight to this one here. And what I do is go config setup, transceiver and this window appears so in this window i just dropped it down 991a i know that it's com6 so if you right click on your windows blue squares at the bottom device manager double click ports as long you know providing you've got your drivers installed which are the the ones shown here and number six see six is the is the one we're going to use we've got nine there but we use six click it right click it i'll just show you the board rate that's set on this one go to ports and it says nine six hundred here but here we've got three eight four hundred so let's just see if it if it connects first so once you set your com and it looks like it's already connected com six We've got the board rate set at 38400, although I would say it's better to match that to the, uh, to the one I just showed you. And then we go initiate and it connects. Okay, you get this sort of window. So we can now click on the frequency and start changing and you can see the 991 is starting to change. You've got a signal meter there. The blue line is actually a voltmeter. So if you go config, go to UI, and I've ticked these little boxes here, and one of them was voltmeter. Let's click this user interface. Not seeing this one. FL rig user interface. So we've got two interfaces here. This one, I'm not sure this one's actually connected. FL rig user interface, because it is showing a different frequency. I know that I can go A and B here on this window. So we go to the B band, and it switches over. And you can see the B section on the radio changing, if you look there. Go back to the A band. And it looks like split mode is enabled, so we'll turn that off. And you get when you hover over it gives you a tip how to use it not too much activity today you've got volume squelch noise reduction you can turn it down like so f s h n c h mike let's try the ptt and the tune so yeah we've got a long wire connected so we'll go tune and it's tuning now look and if, if anything i'll bring the power right down Bring it right down to here. There you go. So that's working good. You can see the transmit on the meter, and it's even showing an SWR. So, so you've got full control. There's the bands at the bottom. So I couldn't find earlier, but it, I think it was right in front of me. I just was blind to it. So there's your bands, and you can see the bands changing. And remember, this is a free program, and you can sit at your computer and can completely control your rig. I'm not sure if how many functions you can get into. Got an amplifier there as well. An IPO. File, let's go to config. You've got all these items. I think some of them are so that you can access your server. You know, so that you could access your radio 
when you're not at home. Never used it. I've literally been on this for 10 minutes. Client polling server teammate. What's that? Well, set up. There's a lot of videos showing all the different things. You've got one here for PTT, C media and generic. I haven't changed anything, but you can see my PTT is working. And you have FL Digi, again, a program I've never used. I'll try that one out. You've got your different modes here. So we've got USB, and then we could do 20 megs. And change the bandwidth as well. And let's try the tuner, we'll keep the power low, and then we'll go tune. I mean, it just works well. I like it, you know. All you need is a USB connection. I've tried it with the G90. You do need something in between, like an interface. And the ICOM 7100 and the ICOM 705, and it works fine. Yeah, there are some things that are different. I'm not sure what this means, this window here. Um, I'm trying to see if it's even connected. I press reset. Uh, it did do something with the other one, didn't it? When I click reset, click OK. Let's go 10. It's still working. File, config, me or oh, memory channel, save, and then you can go manage. You get this memory window as well. You can start saving memory channels as well. I'll try another one. Let's do then go memory save as another memory and can we switch between them yeah we can when we double click the memory we can switch you've got memories there yeah it's actually really good save manage Kia let's see how this works you've got the CW Kia that's appeared um, and there's memories as well so I'm guessing you can store and it will transmit them or is it, a, is it a decoder? I don't know if it's a decoder, is it? We need to learn more about that. Delete, pick, font. Kia and FSK Kia as well. We've got some help links here as well. So I think, I think it's really good. Definitely try it out. Noise reduction. And it seems good to me. I think the key thing, though, is the cable between your computer and the the 991 or any other radio that you're using with this system. Because I think the one I've got isn't actually very good. Um, get that correct. And um, we'll be checking out the other programs as well. I think the next thing we'll check out is FL Digi, because I've never used that ever. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now, 73.